Hello ladies and gentlemen, what's up? It's Papa Bale and welcome to the channel. So we got our our one two three circuit going today. We got one for the base, two for the collector, and three for the emitter. So in you know reading from left to right like you would read a book. Uh, we, we're doing one, two, three. All right, so the base is connected to the trigger coil, which times the movement of the motor by releasing a small charge as the magnet passes. So it's, I would say it's in between a Hall effect sensor and a read switch in its response time. It's good. <laughs> um, so we're at like 6.38 volts in, so 6.5 volts in, and uh, 100 milliamp draw. Uh, that is an aluminum disc spinning in the back there. Um, and I was going to try and link another rotor. But the magnetic the cubes are definitely interacting with one another at that distance. So I would need a bigger aluminum disc uh, to try and get the magnets, the two rotors, to be far enough away that they are not influencing one another. Look, we got a friend here. Hey, Tiggs. All right, so I I got my laundry done and I need to fold it. Well, I hang mine up, so <laughs> put it on a hanger. Yeah, that's it. All right, so at you know six and a half volts times 0.1 so that's going to be 0.6 of a watt right so that's 0.1 times 6.38 would be 0.638 right that's awesome this is that's great i mean we're not we're at just over half a watt and we got, you know, two things moving off of that at least. And I'll show you what's the, the interaction between these two is over here. There's like, they're not touching. Now they're not going very fast either, but I think they are pretty well synced. I think we can add a little bit of juice and it'll still sync up. Now this is maglev and bearing. Again, there's an extra bearing there. Uh, it is floating. There's a ceramic bearing in the hole on the shaft. This is nine volts and point two. You get a little bit of drag from the extra rotor, but <clears throat> it did pick up speed. Both of them. Now I'm, I'm assuming there's a little bit more like skippage going on now at nine volts than there was at six and a half. This is more like nine and a half as well. This is 9.4. And 
I almost forgot about that. I got the pickup coil hooked up in the in the field. The immediate field and the external field and just that that whole area right there. I'm thinking it's going like this. And, and it does it does look like a butterfly. And the two poles that are at the head and the butt. And the wings are like the field. Uh. All right, so we've got that's our spike. That's definitely a spike. Well, it's it's peak to peak it's a thousand volts and it's only hooked up AC so let's get the AC that's the AC version <clears throat> and it's still a thousand volts and this reading is coming off of this this coil right here it's not really connected to anything. It's just in the field. It is 18,000 turns of 20 or uh, 32 gauge, and it has a soft iron core, so it's picking up a lot of the resonant. Well, I don't. I'm not exactly sure what part of the field it's picking up, but it's right in the pole, so. And it is a thousand volts with nine volts going in, but that's on the peak to peak. That's on the oscilloscope. So we, we're, it's 26 AC volts. It's either actually pretty low compared to other ones that I've done. But I think that's good. I mean, the the oscilloscope is pretty clean. I mean, it's very clean. It's shockingly clean. <laughs> and that's because... I think it's because I have the three... It looks like three. It is the three magnets all facing north. So that's the AC of, of that. So we got the aluminum disc moving, and we've got a thousand volt peak to peaks coming off of this coil, contactlessly picking up off of the field generated by that coil. That meaning this one right here, and then this one's the pickup coil, but it, it's a nice one. So yeah, I think that's good. It's definitely a pulse motor. Awesome. So yeah, have a good night. Please subscribe. Hit the like button. Peace out. Bye now.